my signature scents and yes scents because clearly I couldn't choose just one. For those of you guys who are unfamiliar with Scentbird, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to try different designer fragrances for $17 a month without having to commit to an entire bottle of a fragrance that you might not even like. Now, I don't know about you guys, but one of the biggest compliments that I can get is that I smell good. I don't know, it just does something to my spirit. Scentbird allows me to be in my perfume girl fragrance era as I navigate through different top notes and learn how to stack different scents. Not only are they fun to look at in the little packages that they come in, but they make it fun to try out new scents and experiment with notes that you didn't even know would go together. Like, it's just very much like playing around. I don't know, I almost feel like a chemist or something. So the first scent that they sent me over is the Deep Dark Vanilla by Diaz and Durga. The top notes for this scent are Vanilla Absolute, Hay, Orchid, Pink Pepper, and Cypress Rue. This one out of the four that I received is probably my top two. It's warm, it's sultry, it's grown, it's sexy. It almost gives mysterious and gives just enough sweetness. The next scent that they sent over, and this is my top scent right now. I don't know what it is. It just brings back all of these memories. It's very nostalgic for me, but it's Joe Love's Pink Vetiver. And the top notes for this scent are vetiver, crushed pink peppercorns, cardamom, and ginger. This scent right here just brings back so many memories. It reminds me of a scent that someone in my family used to wear and it just brings back all those beautiful memories of them and all the times that we spent together and I just love her it's fresh and clean and the ginger definitely isn't overpowering but you know that it's there the third scent that they sent over is Nicole Miller's Nectar de Peche and it smells so good it's fruity the top notes of this fragrance are peach nectar coconut water honeysuckle sandalwood and warm musk this is definitely giving summery vibes and as we're pushing closer to the spring I feel like I could really start introducing it but it's like fun flirty it's like giving very much tropical almost if you will with the hints of the coconut water and the peach together it really really works and this is what i'm talking about how scents and fragrances or top notes you didn't even know were compatible with each other but they just work and lastly the fourth scent that they sent over is dead cool extra milk the top notes for this fragrance are amber bergamot and white musk i will say that this was a scent that i was most interested to see how it was going to smell because it just had three kind of strong top notes but they're very very gentle and they work and blend so well this is giving very much date night giving very much grown woman and i like this pink vetiver scent really has me in a chokehold ever since i got it i've been literally using it every single day like this one has become a staple for me i'm not sure if i mentioned this but they give you a 30-day supply to take off this outside packaging all you do is just open it up and then you can take out the vial and you can see how much perfume that they're giving you. I've been using it for seven days and literally look how much I still have left. Like they are not skimping on this product at all. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and just spray this on me now because we're about to get ready to go to work. Mm, she's just so good. It's like spring and fresh. Oh my God, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Semper doesn't just sell perfumes. They also have unisex fragrances and colognes. Some fragrances cost over $150 and some even range from $300 to $500. Good quality designer scents. If you guys are on the hunt for a new signature scent or just a signature scent in general, make sure to click the link down below to visit Semper's website and use my code Rihanna Janice in all capital letters for 55% off your very first month at Semper, which is only about $8 for your first month, so. Hello. Also, you guys can scan the QR code, which is here on the screen as well. All of the details will be down below in the description box. Again, thank you so much to Semper for sponsoring this portion of today's video.
No phones, hater. Hater. Hey, y'all. So it's me. Um, hey, y'all. So I teach her to decide to follow the rules. Right, and that's so um, not like, get us no food because somebody said it wasn't fair. That was not fair because we eat one. Lame. Thumbs down. I definitely think you should order us some food. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. I spent that, $60 that was, dollars on ice cream yesterday. That's your fault. That's your fault. Okay. No, listen. Okay. Listen. Why would you say that? Ice cream got me. Exactly. So you should have said it. All right. You shouldn't have said it. All right. You shouldn't have said it. I told you. I told you. I told you. Well, I said, I said, come on. I said, I said, come on. Well, everybody, ice cream got me. You weren't even there. You were showing up to the ice cream truck. I was there. I didn't even see you. Let's see bones. Let's see. Okay. That's how Miss Gold is being. Why would you ever do that? Don't you buy some I'm ice never cream? doing it again, but you need. You need to vacate the premises immediately. Uh -uh. You don't need to write nothing. You need to do my work. Sure, help yourself to my lip gloss. Thank you. Thanks. As she's squeezing it on her. You're just chilling. <laughs> Go do work. I did. I did. I finished the last. I got forty-five minutes. So I, I finished all. Not from today, you don't. We ain't been in class forty-five minutes. I was doing it. In I finished the last. I mean, how you got six in the same spot? Like, six what? Six, six moves. Four, five, six. Beauty marks. I don't know. Beauty marks. Mm -hmm. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Hey. Hey. hey, Ty. Go take that test. So where is she putting you? Out. If he, if he can't go in there, then he will have to go. Yeah, but my class at capacity. It can't just be. It's not at capacity. <laughs> Let me go get this boy. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We walk in the class together. Come on. I don't want to walk. We walk in the class together. No. Yep. No. Go see. Miss Carrie, I have Jeremiah. She don't want me in here, Miss Carrie. Go get a computer. Go sit next to Orsenio and do some work. Ooh, hey, hey. 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 I'm going to be watching some TV tonight. Who said that? All right, well, we're about to go because they're going to go do some math work. Oh. Look, another one might want to do this. I don't care what you want to do. I'm ready. I don't care what you want to do. You need to do it. It's fine. I already did a lesson, though. Not today, you didn't. Yo, yes, uh, I did. What are you talking about? I just finished the lesson. You this. finished the lesson that you started already. Yeah. You didn't start it, but that's not a full lesson in one day. But it was, it was low. No. No. Yeah. No. the day of our prayer brunch and we're here we're just waiting for miss curry to get here um because we need to set up the round tables but me miss Cobbs, we've been holding it down this morning we got together our little centerpieces they're literally i don't know if you can see you'll see it in a little bit but um like little floating candles and a little bit of flower petals and orbies and some water honestly have never been so tired in my life because i was up all night last night baking and Nell and Jax were over and Nell helped me like put some stuff away um like package the brownies and stuff but like oh my gosh 
your girl's exhausted but we're here so we're about to set up let me see if miss Cobb wants to say anything to the vlog do you want to say anything to the vlog how you feeling about today yes excited cannot wait cannot wait cannot this wait it's been a long time in the making it yes. feels like lots of planning lots lot of preparation of yes. um but it's gonna be great we're gonna have a great turnout yes. and God's gonna show up okay. gonna show up and show out that's all that's, that's all that it's supposed to be doing absolutely okay. yes <laughs> all right well we'll be we'll be back we yes. just Please send help. Have the vlog this is our helpers y'all they did their big one look at the beautiful tables yes How we feeling? Yeah. Did you guys enjoy the prayer? Your feet hurt? Y'all helped us. They helped us set up last night. The dedication. They helped us set up last night and then this morning. How's the food? The food's good? Y'all know Miss Curry made it. She did a good job. <laughs> so, did you guys like the? You like the prayer this morning? Like seeing your teachers? Yeah, that's what's up. Are you guys gonna um, be a part of the group next year? Yeah, yeah. Are you excited? What are you looking forward to the most from it? The food. You think we're just gonna feed you? What about the word? Well, we want to thank you. Thank you guys for helping. You said what? Yeah, yeah. It's real quiet. You go to church out here, and it's quiet. Oh, we like a loud church. We won't be yelling. Yelling and dancing and shouting. That's it. Well, we thank y'all. Say goodbye to the vlog. Bye, girlies. Y'all, we are back from the prayer brunch. And um, I had to leave a little bit early. <sighs> it was a beautiful event. We had a really great showing. I just had, you know when the enemy always has to send a distraction? That's what happened. And I almost, like, got caught up because myself, Miss Cobbs, and Miss Curry, we, like, have been playing this for the last few months. And um, I guess uh, Ms. Cobbs had asked her church to like come help and like serve in the capacity in which they serve at the church. And like, I think that's great because like we definitely need to help. There's only three of us there, like whatever, whatever. But I didn't know that we were, there was gonna be somebody there who was just gonna be taking charge and like basically just doing whatever they wanted with um, de decor or like set up and all of that. And I was like, no you haven't been the one here doing that and i don't know there was just we kind of not that we had a run-in but like she was talking to me crazy and i was like you know what i'm just gonna remove myself um i'm sick of you speaking to me like that so you know what? i'll just step back but like i just felt like it was not fair in that way because you didn't plan anything you didn't buy anything like you didn't have your hand in any of this planning so for you to come here and just start like taking over basically running running over the things that we had already had planned was like not cool with me but everything else was like everything else was cool so like I can't complain because at the end of the day it's not about me it's not about how I feel it's about God and you know him having his way at the at the service so 
I'm not gonna complain about it, but I almost had a moment today. Like I almost left. I was like, you know what? Bye. Like that's cool. But what we won't do is just start talking to me crazy because I don't I don't I don't tolerate that. I don't tolerate that. Especially if I'm not being rude. Like there's there was no need. I felt like there was no need, but it's cool. But yeah, so my mom and my sister, and I think my cousin Eric are coming. My sister's bringing the baby too. So they're gonna come spend the night with me. Um, so right now I'm just trying to get some laundry done before they get here so that, you know, everything's good to go. I didn't really have to clean too much because um, I cleaned before Nell and Jax got here last night and then also cleaned after I was baking. So we didn't really have too much, too much to clean. It's more of just like a laundry thing and I really might not even finish this right now because I don't care. Um, but I'm really excited to see my little sassy's baby because I haven't seen, actually, no, I saw him last weekend. But I'm always excited to see him. It was honestly such a beautiful ser service. Like the speakers, everything was just like perfect. I'm glad that we were able to do it. We're going to do another one. And so maybe I'll open it up to you guys. I didn't know like this first one was just going to be small. And even though we said it was going to be small, like double the amount of people <laughs> um, we thought were going to come came today. So I'll open it up to like the public, I guess, next time. Um, if you guys are interested, I think we're going to do one in May. Not 100% sure just yet, but we had our girls there and that was just so cute to see them like, you know, just doing their little thing. They like to help. They like to be present. And I was just really glad because it's a Saturday. So to see the kids wanting to come on a Saturday is like, I don't know, that just made me really excited. I'm also really excited for the group to start next year. Like we have a lot of prepping and planning that we need to do, but yeah, it was definitely good. So I'm just going to finish this laundry really quick and then hopefully by the time I'm done, they will be here. You guys know this is my most dreaded task ever. I don't mind washing it. It's the folding and putting it away. Like if it would just fold itself, that would be great. Fold itself and put it away, that would be great. But anyway, going back to what I was talking about before, I also think it was kind of intensified. Like it probably wasn't even that big of a deal. But for me, Rachel is literally like two days out. I'm an ogre right now. I'm literally an ogre right now. I'm so irritable and it usually happens like two to three days before my cycle comes on. So like, you know, I probably on a good day that wouldn't have bothered me. I just would have removed myself and been cool. But like today she almost, she almost took me there. Like even the students were standing there and they were looking at me and I was like, you know how, you know how we be telling y'all to do the right thing, that you're in control of what you do and how you respond. That's one of those moments for me. Why is there just so many clothes? later it's like nine o'clock at night right now um we went out to eat with my cousin eric my mom the baby and my sister and then we came home and we started watching shutter island and what i mean we i mean my mom because my sister and i were rocked um and we slept i didn't get any sleep last night really like maybe like four hours so i very much needed it to function but now it's like up and baby things it's play time hello Baby? Is that Sassy's means? Hello. Is that Sassy's means? What's the matter? Where do smiles go? The death grip is crazy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes! You're gonna break my finger. You're gonna break my finger. Is that what you want? So my mom ordered cheesecake. She got a free cheesecake and she's gonna buy it for my aunt. And then she also got a chocolate cake. Hello. 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 Yes, you actually don't look like you're about to start screaming. Say hi, Sassy. Yes. Hi, Sassy. But yeah, my mom forgot to bring the boxes home, so now she's on the phone with them to see if they can get her another one. Like six hours later. Any thoughts? Who, me? Yeah. Um. I'm just gonna say no comment. Okay. Is that mommy's baby, Yay Beard? Is that mommy's baby? <laughs> Is that mommy's baby? Say who's the baby? So it's about to be a party tonight. Cause of you. I'm wearing shorts, just so everybody's aware. Are you gonna go back to sleep? 
Okay, that was a no. Are you about to start tweaking? Blink one for yes and two for no. Okay. Hey, look out for that moving van driving down the street. You better lock up your man before he meets the new girl in town. She is him. She is the new girl. <laughs> I can't get that far. <laughs> Just big and little at the same time. He doesn't look like a two month old or a three month old. Yeah. Like you look like he's six months. Yeah, you look very nourished. Very, very nourished. This extra chin here does it for me. Yes. Sometimes when I look at you, I just want to pop a little pacifier in your mouth because it just seems like it would fit so perfectly. They do. But you won't take it. You want to do a pacifier test? I think I have three. Yeah. He's, about, he's about to spaz. Yes, he is. He will not take a pacifier. No matter how many my sister buys, he will not take a pacifier. You know it's coming. Okay, so first up, we have a Dr. Brown's pacifier. Going as expected. Mmm, yummy, passy. Yummy. Okay. <laughs> so that one is a zero out of ten. This one is a Philips Advent pacifier. Come on. <laughs> this one is like a five out of ten. I think he'll take that. It'll be the first one he takes. And then this Why one is so big? the passy. I hate that. It's supposed to like look like a breast. So that's not how yours. It would work. <laughs> Yummy pacifier. Negative ten out of ten. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. You just make it so easy. You just make it so easy. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Okay, you need Do my. Do you want to go with you? Yeah, is there a store over there? Too? There's like a 24 hour CVS. Do you want to go? I'll go with you. Do you want anything, Ray? Are you going to be okay if I leave him? Are you going to be okay? Yeah, we'll be fine. Or we could take them. No, I'll be fine. Crying don't mean nothing to me. <laughs> Babe, we cry together. And then also, if he does fall asleep, this thing, it's like a heartbeat. Okay. Yes. Do you like the music? Okay, maybe now we'll stand up. He don't really like it. You don't like much of anything. He does. Except for your mama. That's really Except good. for your mama. You, you need to like me like that. Ugh. Gross. Will you spit up one? Yes. No <laughs> warning. It's never a warning. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do you feel better? Are you happy with yourself? Are you happy with yourself? Are you happy with yourself? I just really feel like we look alike. Do we look, oh, you're still, is it still coming out of your mouth? Calm down. Do we really look alike? I see it. We're both chocolate, the cheeks. I think is giving very much twin. Say goodbye for now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>actually this is not good morning this is good afternoon borderline evening because it's 358 so borderline evening but it looks really light outside so you know it still feels very much like morning my sister my mom and the baby left a little bit ago and i'm very sad i just feel like i miss so much of his life even though i see him like every three weeks he just you know it's just growing so fast. So I was just soaking up all the baby cuddles. I decided to watch Church From Home today because they actually stayed a little bit longer than I anticipated. I thought they were gonna leave probably like early around like seven, but they didn't leave until like almost like one, one or two, which was fine because I watched Church From Home and the word was so good. So shout out to you, Bishop, because man, a word was spoken today, okay? It's spoken every Sunday, but today, it's like the Lord really tells you my business, Bishop. And I wish that he would just, you know, tell me or, you know, sends you in private and says, hey, girl, this is what the Lord said, because 
you were in my business for like the third week in a row. But anyway, so Rachel, Rachel is very much on her way. She should be here tomorrow. I had a sweet tooth. I had a craving for some chocolate, specifically ice cream. So I'm actually trying out insomnia cookie. I feel like I've only ever had insomnia cookie one time. That's not true. Twice my entire life. But I've never had... I don't think I've ever had I don't think I've ever had their ice cream. So I got the cookies and dream ice cream. So we'll try that. Oh, it's good. Okay, but I actually really wanted to try this cookie. It's a deluxe cookie and it's like a lava filled cookie or something like that. Looks pretty. Let's see what the inside looks like. Is it giving lava? Maybe if it was warmer, it would, but it's not really lava. Anyway, I've been craving it because you know what? This time around my cycle, I haven't had this in a while, but usually I used to like, during my PMS, I would eat everything that wasn't nailed down to the floor. I would. And then lately, I don't really have much of an appetite and I'm only probably gonna take like two bites of this and be done, but that's okay. But you know, when I have a craving, I wanna honor the craving because it's not often that I have them anymore. Um, but this is actually really good. I have been productive because I am editing a video currently and then I also made my lesson plan my lesson slides for tomorrow which is good I just have to make my lesson plans tonight but honestly that might be a problem that might be a task for tomorrow and then I also need to finish out writing a an integration for a brand that I have coming up um so I want to write that down so I can film it in the morning film it in the morning and then send it over to the brand and then oh my gosh one thing that I'm really challenging myself on is i go on spring break next week the goal is to film 90 percent of it so like making sure that i can get caught up like at least get four or five videos filmed over spring break because i absolutely need to get caught up on content there was a video that was supposed to go up last friday and it didn't go up because i was just running around all over the place like literally the beginning of this vlog actually the day that nell and them came over nell and jacks came over I literally like came into the house. I should have uploaded it, but I just was like, I need to bake. I need to get this done. I just want to make sure that like I get enough stuff filmed. So like this week, this week I'm trying to film as much as I can. Next week is spring break. I'm trying to film as much as I can while still being present in the moment because like obviously you don't want to be working, working, but yeah, I need to get my life together. And I also meet with my accountant on Tuesday. So hopefully everything like just goes really well with that and get these taxes paid and that'll be that. I want to watch a movie. And I've been going back and forth between watching Irish Wish or Art of Love or finishing Dune because I started Dune but never finished it. And I'm like, do I want to watch Dune? But Dune is like almost three hours. I don't know if I have that in me right now. But yeah, and then I need to do my nails today because these nails, they really have to go. Like I've kept these on for like five and a half weeks, which is like fine, but I'm very much over them. So I think when I'm done with my ice cream, I'm gonna go ahead and clip my nails off and then like soak the the rest of like the nail off and then we're gonna do Frenchies because I'm so like overstimulated by this color. It's just, ugh. It was cute for a moment. And I mean a moment, like a hot second because y'all know I don't be doing the loud colors. 